Now we're going to get more advanced and see if we can paint an antique sterling silver teapot. Well, like we did with some of the earlier objects, it's uh, always a good practice to look at your, your piece in relationship to value. So here's our linear value scale. We have the darkest darks down here. And it's, uh, it's interesting to compare this scale once again to the actual value of the metal. Now metal is really dark. I mean, just look, look at this value scale. It's all, everything is down here towards the bottom. So when we start to paint this, I'm going to treat this as a simple graphic shape. Remember, we're on an 11 by 14 scale, so I'm taking out a large number 8 brush. So now starting from the middle, and this does, this does vary depending on what type of metal you're painting. Well, you take a paper towel and you sort of crumble it up like this, put your uh, finger up inside of it, wind it around, and then you can use it to actually draw right back into the surface and actually wipe away. So I'm scraping right into the surface, right here the way there's this uh, curvilinear line here which picks up the reflection of the fabric, the gilded nature of the uh, silver, the way it twists and turns and has somewhat of a floral pattern to it, almost like an arabesque. We've got a pretty good foundation set up. At this point, we've got to take what we've established here in terms of a basic form with the burn umber, the ultramarine blue, the light areas wiped out, and somewhat of an impression of what we're going to end up with. And at this point, take this and actually place some colors on top of this and it's through the layering of color and value that the illusion gets more pronounced. As I've mentioned over and over, it's warm against warm and cool against cool. And it's the process of overlapping intricate brush strokes that moves you more towards illusionism. Right down here, restate that. And here, and we have here. Okay, now we're going to end with this final highlight. See right here how there's this geometric shape that's really bright, brighter than anything around it. I'm going to use some titanium white to really bring out that highlight and then soften it to both sides to get it to integrate. And then we'll be done with this uh, piece. Now dip in, take some titanium white and a small amount of this uh, yellow ochre that's already been tinted and use that for that bright white spot, for that bright highlight. It's not totally white. It has some warmth in it. So taking this uh, number eight brush, a real broad stroke, and take that spot and just soften the edges a little bit. 